All right, what's going on guys? Welcome to InShane Designs. I have Nick here. He is one of our new employees. Um, I actually hired him. He has some background in some video editing. He actually went to school for it. So today I'm going to discuss with him our game plan for the next two years of, you know, the future of InShane Designs and where we're heading and what, 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 what ideas we have lined up for this. So um, Nick, introduce you to the fan base. I'm going to let you take over and explain a little bit about <laughs> okay. yourself. Well, thank you. Um, I, anyway, I'm Nick. Uh, so I've actually been into the video making, kind of broadcasting area, and even design area for a while now, basically since my freshman year of high school. Um, and I would be, I actually just dropped out of college, but um, it's not for me. Figured that one out, luckily earlier rather than later. But um, I should be in my sophomore year of college right now. so I've been on it and that's what I was going for co to college to as well was broadcast communication so I was making videos and things all through college as well but um, well yeah. first I'm going to interrupt sorry um, what is broadcast communications like broadcasting that? communications is a very broad subject so that can envelop news um, basically any video making commercials um, marketing design work so basically stuff Shane does here with graphic designing, making stickers, decals, hell, even rapid cars, sorry. Yeah, that's cool. Um, but yeah, so it's it's a very broad thing, but it envelops so much, and people don't realize just how much it really envelops, that they kind of think that it's part of something else, when all this stuff that they think is part of other things is all yeah. in some category by itself. So pretty much what you're saying is, you're going to design a commercial for the next Super Bowl for us, right? I mean, I could. <laughs> <laughs> Our wheels are spinning already. Now, so yeah, he gets, uh, that's, that's a little, you know, quick rundown. Um, he is local. He went to Carlisle High School. Um, Carlisle, we've actually been in touch with. They have their own internal Votech program. Um, I already did, uh, had a meeting, well, small uh, phone call with Carlisle and the director of their Votech um, program. CT program. So, that's one of the things that we're going to discuss with you today. One of the things that I have been working on probably for the past two years, it's been in the back of my mind, and now it's finally, InShane Designs is at the point where I think we can start capitalizing, and what I really want to do is start an education program. And what that means by that is, Obviously, a lot of you guys are always emailing in, hitting us up. Can you do this? Can you do that? I want to start my own rap shop. I want to do this. What I want to do is actually put together a good education program, starting with the basic tools, and then, you know, installation tools, wrapping a hood, the simple stuff first, then start getting into detail, and then work my way up. If you want to start an, uh, a rap shop, I can go over and show you everything that you need to do, the initial investment, everything from the, you know, a system of how you would operate your wrap shop, organizational, you know, tools, how to keep your shop clean, how to keep your shop organized. These are all key factors that are a must, you know, that you need to follow if you're going to have a successful wrap shop. Now, one thing about me is a lot of people don't know, I don't think I have OCD but some people might say I have OCD. It's really not, it's, I was taught at a young age that you gotta look good to play good. So for me, you know, playing baseball, I always had the fresh cleats, they were always cleaned up. I had a fresh glove, it was all lathered up. Everything looked clean when I was, you know, before I was about to perform. Yeah. So one of the things that I carried on through life is, if I don't have a clean environment, my, um, just everything goes to goes to crap. I can't mm -hmm. provide the best skill that I can to the, exactly. to the best of the shit my ability. The best yeah. it is. So clean shop, clean environment, tools organized in order to be efficient and obviously do a killer job. So that's what Nick's here for. He's gonna yeah. help. We're gonna actually go over the game plan of laying out this structured education program and then we are gonna have access to all the videos, everything, we're creating a huge platform and the reason why I was talking with the Carlisle Botech School uh, program or the director is because we wanna start getting it into the Botechs, um, getting it across the nation, getting, you know, starting 
young is where it needs to it really needs is. to go into. So if you wanted to take a rap shop or wanted to learn about this, you can take it at a Botech near you. Uh, you know, starting in high school. Yeah. And then there's plenty of trade schools after, like automotive. Uh, we have a huge one called Thaddeus Stevens. Mm -hmm. They happen to be like 45 minutes away. So I want to start at the Votech structure, move to the trade school structure, and then once, you know, we might actually, well, we're going to start having training courses here within the headquarters of InChain Designs. So then you can obviously come here for further more experience. We definitely want to get an internship program plus I see in the near future a scholarship program yeah. to help give back to obviously you guys everybody who's interested everybody who wants to do what we do I want to give back so this is my my way of giving back <clears throat> and getting the knowledge out there to do it right so one of the things that you're gonna learn in our training classes is <clears throat> working with all the different types of material mm -hmm. so that's you know obviously we have a, a nice structure and that's what I want to go over with Nick give him the game plan of where we're going to start and then you're going to be in charge of putting you know small descriptions together of what I need to do yeah as far as when we go to video yeah so first things first we're going to start with obviously the first thing that you must learn about anything is the tools exactly the tools um, of the trade yep tools of the trade there's a ton of them out there we'll go over the basic ones that we use We'll definitely give you access to all the ones that are out there. Um, mm -hmm. And believe me, there is a ton of installation tools. You just gotta you know, be careful. It, here's what it comes down to, your experience. You can use a credit card if you're good. I mean, yeah. it's, it's really is understanding the tool and you know, making it the best that you can. So, um, but obviously we'll go with the squeegees, the blades, the two different style squeegees. Yeah. Um, there's a lot of variables. So, oh yeah, it's it's um, crazy how many different just versions of one tool there are. Yeah, yeah. And they all do completely different things. And then plus we do such a wide variety of installation and production. Like we don't just do the car wraps. We do you know franchise graphic packages, which is you know we do a whole bunch of different applications towards what we're installing on. So obviously mm -hmm. you guys see the cars, mm -hmm. we do walls. I mean, this table I wrapped, I built, I wrapped, it's our conference table. Um, we do windows, all that stuff. So first things first, we'll go over the, the tools. And then the next yeah. thing I think is the application. Mm -hmm. And what I mean by application is not just, you know, installing on whatever. It's understanding what application you're installing on. Exactly. So there's definitely a ton of different materials out there that you need to pick and choose what's the best. So um, to make things easy, what we do is we obviously work with the best of the best, the cream of the crop. Um, Avery Dennison, their top products, or 3M, you know, there's a bunch of them out there. Arlon has a, a nice me uh, print media line. So there's, there's a ton of variables which we will definitely break down. I think the application can only be taught you know, through videos so much. It all exactly. comes down to your experience. So the application is going to have to, you know, grow as you experience more and more. So, un you know, fortunately, I have like 10 years of experience. I've seen it all that I thought, you know, that I think. I'm still <laughs> learning. Don't get me wrong. I'm still learning. But I definitely know my application. And that's one of the most exciting things is when I go on a job, you know, I'm serving, I'm meeting a new customer is... I love understanding what I'm going to be working with, what I'm going to be installing on, and I love putting together the best package exactly. that I possibly can. It, so, makes, it also makes you feel so much more confident exactly. about doing it correctly yep. and your ability and wowing that customer. Yep, yep. So um, application will be the next step, and then we will start doing some hands-on installs. Mm -hmm. um, like I said, we're going to start with hoods roofs, any flat panels yeah. first to get you guys started on, you know, some easy installation, uh, you know, stuff that anybody can do with the proper tools and mechanics. So um, then next thing after that is we'll definitely start getting into some different, harder, you know, the next level of experience installation. Mm -hmm. um, and then we'll go over some tips and tricks on how to do things. Like I said, this is an ongoing exactly. procedure. Like there's so much information that I, I couldn't even get it all <laughs> under, you know, one video or multiple videos oh, yeah. in a year. Exactly. There's like so this is many. just an overview of what we're yeah. planning for the next two years. Yeah. 
which is yeah. why we're so tr struggling just to get out, but we really want to get out because there's just so much we want to do. We are trying to keep the video short, but yeah. at the same time, tell you guys what all we want to do. Yeah. So another thing is, you know, I think what, how we're going to structure this is also everybody knows we're a Corvette community, like oh, we're yeah. in the Corvette community hard. So with that being said, we also want to give back to our customer base that, you know, all have Corvettes. There's such a loyal customer base oh, yeah. that I feel it's worth me educating on the Corvettes, mm -hmm. just so I know that if anybody has a Corvette in this nation, whether it's in California, Texas, anywhere that we're not, I want to make sure that Corvette is taken care of 100%, oh, yeah. just because of you know, the loyalty that they showed me mm -hmm. in the community with the you know, Corvette owners and how much they love their cars. So I think we're going to do this structure, build it around the Corvette community, most of the stuff you're going to see to start is Corvette stuff. So, yeah. you know, tutorials on how to take door panels apart, how to take bumpers off, how to put it back together. All that stuff will be included in this education program. And then we'll bounce out and start experimenting with other cars. Now, obviously, yeah. we don't just do Corvettes. Yeah. We do a whole bunch. And, I mean, we do McLarens. We take yeah. them apart. So <laughs> we got one in the shop right now. Yeah. So there's definitely some things that we can definitely teach, and that's what we're going to start with. Yeah. So... I think that went well, and I think yeah. you got an idea, broad oh, yeah. spectrum of what we're trying yeah, to get together. Not just Corvettes, which, I mean, for a lot of, I know, my space, which I know is a lot of what, who follow us, is that it's not, there are a lot of younger audiences, mm -hmm. and it's mm -hmm. not people who are more likely in their late 20s, early 30s, who are able to get Corvettes, McLaren, things like that. But they will. Exactly, they will. If you push hard and pursue, you can. Yeah. And, but... Even if you say you, you got a little car you got now for five grand, we can show you how to wrap that too. Like yeah. it's, it, this applies to any vehicle, anything, really. Absolutely. We're going to show it on a Corvette base, but majority of cars are designed to be taken apart. They're mm -hmm. all the same. It's put together the same way. It's just different areas. Mm -hmm. It's the best way I can explain it. So yeah. door panels, they all come off the same way. There's just hidden screws that you got to figure out where they're at. Mm -hmm. So... Um, yeah, I like what you touched there. Um, just because we're showing it on a Corvette doesn't mean it has to be a Corvette. Exactly. I mean, you, these are all tools to help you work on your own, whatever kind of vehicle you have. Obviously, some cars are harder than others, so mm -hmm. some things you're just going to have to like learn as you go. Yeah, and so, at the same time, also PPF or... Um, yeah, what we're going to go over solid color change, printed mm -hmm. design, paint protection film. Yeah. All different animals. Um, you got your design wraps, which start a little longer, design time, production, install. Exactly. Solid color, easy. They pick a color, you go to town. Paint protection, easy. They pick the areas they want to cover, protect, you go to town. So, yeah. we'll definitely go over all that. Um, looks like my battery's getting a little low, so <laughs> we're going to end it here. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, I hope you guys are excited just as much as we yeah. are. Uh, finally feel like it's a perfect time to put this together and get our information out. So, uh... I look forward to doing this for you guys. See ya. Thanks.